Hello my friends of Cadre Labs, my name is Saul Montoya, please welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to do a seawater speciation modeling with Prixie, but in this time we are doing it on the cloud because we are going to use Aquifer app that can that now can run Frixie. Okay, so we are in aquifer.catarilabs.com, so we sign in. Okay, so it's Okay, so we sign. If you don't have an account, you can create it on register. Okay, great. So here we are going to have a seawater. This is going to be called seawater. And the model description is a Frixie modeling. Okay, great. So we go to edit. Okay, and uh, on Aquifer app, you can run, you can make the plots of Piper, Steve, and Shoulder, but you can also run Frixie. So here, let's go to Frixie start. Mm -hmm. So here, what you are required are the, uh, what you are required are to insert a Frixie file. Okay, here we have a Frixie file that is, uh, is related to the example one of the Frixie documentation. We can open that. And here we see the title. There is only one simulation that has the ions of calcium, magnesium, sodium, okay, the alkalinity, <clears throat> sulfur, and nitrates, okay? So and this has to be, an with the dot in extension, otherwise it won't be recognized. So just just name it like that. Okay, so uh, here we yeah we select the file. Okay, and the same that you have pointed here in the in the text file will be here. Okay, it's actually the same. Okay. And then we go to setup. We can. This is an advantage of this app that the selection of the database is so easy because I mean this is all the databases that come with the Frixie. Okay, there is information about the difference in MinTech, Watech, and Frixie on this link. Okay, however, like we are going to use, but I haven't found much uh, information about these databases. Okay, so we go to Frixie.dat. We run it. Okay, and they say, okay, this is the input file, this is the output file, and this is the database, okay? And then we compile, okay? We have compiled that, okay? And then when you have compiled that, you go to raw results, you select, there is only one simulation, but actually there could be more simulations. Okay, and this is the raw result, I mean, whatever Frixie give you to you. Okay, but this is actually kind of call numbers, okay? If you want to see the code numbers, I mean, numbers that I can actually give you much value. We go to solution composition where you can see the table, I mean the same table, but here you can see it with uh, some graph. And if you want to better enhance, I mean to have a better representation of the minimum and the maximum, we can use the semi-lot axis, okay? And this is the with the semi-log axis. Okay, great. And the solution description for the simulation is this one. The species distribution uh, are these ones. Okay, the, all the species are in this graph, but actually, for example, we have a higher molality of the water. Okay, but here we can plot it by element. Okay, so we, here we see for carbon, for the alkalinity, and it's mostly bicarbonate. Okay. And then we see the distribution of calcium, chloride, and so on, okay? And as well, you can do it in a semi-log plot, okay? Great. Okay, this is a semi-log plot, okay? And then here we see the saturation index of the different minerals in the solution, okay? Um, for example, here we see the that the... <clears throat> That the, there is a unsaturated in respect to gypsum and to pyrochroid, okay, and is saturated in respect to housemanite, okay. 
Great, so it's so easy, it's so easy to run Frixie here on Aquifer app, okay? And we strongly recommend that you follow us and then you be, Jose, uh, that you listen to our post because we are going to launch more tutorials on Frixie. Okay, if you want to see some of the great tools that we have, okay, so the, we have an e-commerce site, when there is a lot of courses, okay, so there is a lot of courses here, and there is also some diplomas, okay, and in this diploma we have this diploma in uh, Python and Flowpy that will be the only time that you are that you can have live classes in Flowpy until the library actually gets outdated, okay, or like the course gets outdated in respect of the library. So this will be maybe three or four years. So please take notice of that and take this diploma because actually uh, it will be the only time that you are going to have live classes on Flowpipe. Okay. And then you have uh, SWAT, uh, Modflow with Model Muse diplomas as well. Those are really complete packages. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Thank you and see you in coming tutorials. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.